Indeed, ever since its invention, the submarine's unnerving ability to exploit the element of surprise has caused a host of bizarre and imaginative countermeasures to be invented. One of the strangest was designed to address the problem that bomber crews were having with U-boats in 1942. It seemed that because the aircraft were so slow, a watchful U-boat captain had plenty of time to close up the hatches and dive to safety once the bombers had been spotted. Something had to be done, and Project Yehudi was born. Project Yehudi started actually by the U.S. Navy in the 1930s, and it was an attempt to uh, make aircraft visually, actually invisible, disappear. And as crazy as it sounds, it turned out to be a highly successful program. It was a concept of putting a bunch of lights along the leading edges of the wings of an aircraft, on the uh, nose of the aircraft, on the engine nacelles, and adjusting the intensity of those lights to match the natural background of the sky. Psychologists call it isoluminance the perceptual condition under which different objects displaying similar brightness seem indistinguishable from each other and their backgrounds. To test the Yehudi theory, volunteers from the British Army undertook to cloak their armored personnel carrier in bright lights. On the face of it, the Yehudi principle seems ridiculous and yet it really does appear to work. As you draw back from the Yehudi-clad armored personnel carrier, the camouflaging effect becomes all too apparent. In 1942, the effect for Navy bomber and U-boat captain alike was dramatic. It turned out that the aircraft could actually come within perhaps a mile or even less before it was detected, and often that was because of the noise of the engines. Uh, and that wasn't enough time for the submarines to submerge. The problem for Yehudi was the fact that airborne radars came out at about the same time, and it was no longer necessary, so it kind of went back into obscurity. 